you know, obviously tonight was a uh, just kind of start to finish. We couldn't, we never could get the dribble under control defensively. Uh, just in the paint, in the paint, in the paint, in the paint. And I, I thought, you know, our fours and fives were fine there. Uh, and then the times that we had a chance to second half, we couldn't rebound timely balls, 50, 50 balls. So just really disappointing how we, how we defended the dribble, protected the rim, uh, three assists, 17 turnovers, 19 for 35 from the line. Not a lot of good things tonight. Question for coach. Who wants to go first? Nick starts off. We've talked about the shooting issues all season, but it kind of came to a head tonight. Just what is your concern level with the backcourt right now? Well, uh, not making any shots and uh, not making anybody better. I mean, not only do you have to stretch the defense, you got to be able to get in the paint and make others better. And we didn't do either tonight. And uh, the guards just, we got dominated in the perimeter. And uh, our guys will get better, you know, uh, still have a lot of confidence in them. But, yep, we, we've got to be better. We've got to be better in the perimeter. Uh, one for 13 from three, three assists, 17 turnovers. So uh, that's something that uh, – yeah, obviously, you know, that that's atrocious. So we we gotta we gotta improve that, especially Wichita State. Neil, go ahead. Kermit, you had a couple of chances in the second half to get within four or five points and, and kind of make it interesting and had a couple of air balls, a turnover. What'd you think of those shot selection? Just those possessions there. Yeah, we ran a play. We've been running for, you know, T D, Brian, Devontae for three years now. He broke wide open. On a uh, on an inline of bounds, you know, missed it poorly and missed some other shots poorly, uh, you know. So, yeah, it was just I I didn't and maybe Matt I don't know if he really took a whole bunch of maybe Devontae early took some dribble shots uh, that weren't great, but we never really just got in the paint and you know and pitched it out. So uh, you know, like I said, that floor is really going to shrink uh, if our perimeter doesn't shot and make and be able to get the paint and make others better. Go to Ben. Kermit, about the perimeter shooting, not to harp on it, but um, are you seeing the makes in practice? Are they made, I mean, do they – does it surprise you that it's been such a struggle so far? No, not really, uh, Ben. We haven't shot it great in the preseason. You know, we just haven't. And I told my staff a couple months ago, you know, way back, even for all the COVID pause and everything, that, you know, I was, I was really starting to get concerned. And uh, – but our guys, we were – Matthew Morrell, these guys, we got to tell them to play with confidence, uh, you know, and uh, you got to take good shots, but you're right. I mean, tonight we got Austin 0 for 2, 2 for 13, 3 for 20, uh, 5 for 28. Jarkel made some late, you know, so, but 5 for 28 outside of Jarkel, you know, and so I, I'd say a couple of them were, were poor shots, but uh, I thought for the most part, but, you know, Ben, uh, the, the biggest concern is, you know, we give up 82 you know, and uh, and then that was the biggest thing. We could never get them under control. We could never get 13 under control at all. Parrish, go ahead. Kermit, uh, not making shots. So what was the comeback more complicated when you also were not making as many free throws as you needed? Yeah, you know, I mean, we had a chance, you know, like you guys were saying at games eight, nine, seven, and you go 19 for 35. We got there plenty enough times and uh you know we just didn't didn't make them you're exactly right I mean all those things I mean Vontae misses a layup uh like I said even even we came back made the fourth or fifth time six seven minutes and I think the game's eight or seven they get an offensive rebound maybe a three right there just a lot of little things our margin of error was so small tonight because we just couldn't keep the dribbler out of paint back to Nick Kermit, it's two years in a row now that Alabama's scored a bunch on you guys. Is it a thing about their pace that the defense tends to struggle with, or, or what are you seeing when when they're putting up these big numbers against you guys? I think it's personnel. It's personnel. You know, they just uh, they drove it tonight, and uh, we got to keep them out of the paint, and we didn't do a very good job. You know, last year was kind of a screwed up deal. I get thrown out. KJ gets hurt. Brian fouls out. It was kind of you know one of those deals. But tonight, uh, like I said, we just couldn't. We couldn't stop the dribble, for sure. 